Are you in the market for a 3D printer? Have you recently discovered this incredible technology and thought, huh, wow, I'd love to get involved only to get completely overwhelmed by just how many there are to choose from? Should you buy this little one or this one? This one looks like a truck or how about a big one like this? It's confusing, right? But don't worry, you're not alone. My name is Angus and I run the 3D printing YouTube channel Makers Muse. I receive hundreds of messages a week by people in this very position asking for help selecting the best 3D printer for their needs. And I totally get it. It's a big deal dropping so much cash on something so new and exciting. You want to make sure you get it right the first time around. And I would love to help everyone like this. Unfortunately, however, I'm just one person on the internet. I simply can't get back to everyone. So it is with great pleasure that I present to you my premier video course here on Makers Muse, purchasing your first 3D printer. This is the most in-depth 3D printer purchasing guide on the internet right now with over three hours of content designed to equip you with the knowledge you need to source the perfect 3D printer for work, education or hobby use. This course is a deep dive on filament based 3D printing technology known as FDM or FFF and covers material options and compatibility, print volume, frame construction and movement design considerations, as well as how all of these factors correlate. For example, you might want to print really big things, so you need a large print volume, right? Well, you can't simply just scale up an affordable frame design to create larger print volumes as frame rigidity and reliability become a serious issue. How about printing with tougher materials? Filaments such as polycarbonate and nylon are incredibly tough, but suffer from warping and print issues if the ambient temperature is too low. So you may want to consider a more expensive enclosed printer design rather than an open one. These considerations and many more will allow you to make the perfect choice first time and start your journey with this incredible technology on the right foot. Now, this is important. This course has a second module coming next month covering the setup and use of your brand new 3D printer. And as such, I've set a special introductory price. Trust me, if you can afford to buy a 3D printer, you can't afford to miss this course. And a reminder, this is a video course focusing on FDM slash FFF 3D printers. These are filament based machines. These machines are relatively safe and easy to use for beginners and a great way to get started with the technology. Another technology, MSLA or resin 3D printers are rapidly growing in popularity currently and they are indeed capable of incredibly high detail 3D prints. However, due to their messy nature and health concerns around their operation, I don't generally recommend resin 3D printers as a first 3D printer. You can however expect intermediate courses covering these machines as well in future. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my patrons who helped me fine tune this course over the years, especially David and Teresa who helped give me invaluable feedback and helped identify some silly spelling errors. You guys are the best. If you're looking for further educational content right here on YouTube, you can jump into my free 3D printing 101 video series to get skilled up on 3D printing technologies. And I thank you for your support. Thanks for watching. Bye.